Looking at an interesting stat, the major indexes have not had a 5% pullback since last October. So we're working on nine months here of, of this uptrend. And we're going to go over the trades on the day, but just wanted to throw out that stat. Uh, this market um, is pulled back a little bit off the highs, but um, it gets supported every single day. You can see where the S&P was supported. This is the S&P 500, E-mini S&P futures, representing the S&P 500. And on Tuesday, you see this pullback. The advanced decline line was at minus 1,000. And it pulled back, but then it rallied and came close to uh, the close. And then pulled back again. And it, the advanced decline line was also minus 1,000 at the lows, more, greater than minus 1,000. And then it rallies and closes higher. And so that did set us up the divergence between the advanced decline line lows and the market making new highs. Set us up for a gap down. Also news out of Japan. Um, and so we get this gap down. And we had minus 2,400 on advanced decline line. Minus 2,400. And the market pauses here, propped up again. But the, the, you know, the sell-off is so big, it doesn't make it all the way back to highs or the close. But, um, you know, it just continues to be propped up here, this market that never, um, never uh, goes down. So that's the environment that we're in, and we trade around it, and let's go over the trades on the day. So um, tick count trend, plus 350 on the day, taking the long side, took the short side yesterday, taking the long side today, no follow through to the upside yet. We have about five minutes until the stock market closes, 20 minutes until the 315 time, by the way, that 315 time features does does not close for 15 minutes any anymore like it used to. So the the stock index futures will trade till 4 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Eastern, um, without that 15 minute closure between 315 and 330. So take count trend plus 475. The market continues to move higher right here um, into the last four minutes. Sometimes you get that surging close after hours. ES got caught up in that overnight downdraft. And then 60-minute um, breakout, got stopped out, uh, market uh, rallied again, got back in, minus 1487.50 on the day, adapt moving average, minus 225. Cobra 3, profit target, hit its profit target, plus 575. The non-profit target version was stopped out, minus 625. You really see that, when you zoom in, you really see how that was just um, market gaps down and it, it won't sell. It's propped up, let's push it back, let's push it higher, let's fix it. Let's push it back towards the highs. Those dip buyers are always in, uh, but the overnight strategy is minus 1,025. Lost on the day on Asia, Gold, Asia 4, E-mini S&P, and then uh, Australia Access ES2. Gap continuation in reverse, minus 275. Uh, VSD, minus 612.50. Tick fader, minus 625. Tick wave, plus 287.50. Um, NQ, let's go over the NQ trades. COVID 3. Profit target, non-profit target version, both lost uh, three days in a row where we can't get the short trade because this market won't roll over. Even though it's due for a correction, um, it continues to go into its winning streak to prevent any shorts from winning ever. So three three days in a row this week, minus 625 on Cobra 3, profit target and non-profit target version. QS3, minus 725. And NQ2, 60-minute uh, breakout A, plus 565 on the day, 60 minute breakout B, plus 215 on the day, tick wave, minus 825, VSD long only, plus 335, VSD uh, long short, did did really well capturing that overnight short, and then getting long again at the right time, plus 2700, EVP1, minus 775, gap continuation 2019, big stop loss, minus 725, Viper 2008, plus 1550, and that is on two trades. And uh, Cobra 3, big stop loss, minus 12.25. So exhaust in reverse, minus 275. Two losers, one winner right here. Um, no trades on silver on exhaust in reverse. Crude oil was a highlight of the day. Strategies in the portfolio, Esser Counter Trend 3, plus 475 on Esser Counter Trend 3 A and B. And then plus 445 on Cobra Crude, aggressive and conservative. And then uh, natural gas, we had no trades. Arbob, no trades. Gold, we had um, Asia Gold 4 short. Uh, came almost to its profit target reverse, minus 525. And then Cobra Gold, plus 575. And then silver, no trades on the day. Copper, 
Um, we had this minus 212.50 on the day. Time exit, euro, plus 18.75. Soybeans, small winner, plus 112.50. Got out on a trailing stop loss right here. And then the old and the optional uh, strategies here. Tracking over 120 strategies per day. Not all of these are in the same portfolio. We have different combinations of portfolios. And um, so those are the trades on the day for... Thursday, July the 8th, 2021.